Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I am Ladero. And I am Danielle. And we are House of Lay. Thank you so much for tuning in. So on this video, we wanted to do something a little bit different. My wife came up with a phenomenal idea, actually having a discussion about one of the most popular conversations happening right now on the internet. And that is the story of Suri Braun or Sarah Braun. And we found out about this story. I mean, who doesn't know about this incredible uh, story? We watched both of the videos and we'll make sure we link both videos down um, b below as well. So the first video we saw was from Frida Wiesel uh, or Wiesel. I'm not, I'm not sure if we're pronouncing that right, but that's that video has over half a million views right now. It literally went viral. Incredible story. And then uh, our good friend over at uh, Inspiration for the Nation, uh, Yaakov Langer, uh, he did an incredible interview. We watched that last night as well. And it was just so moving. It was. It was very moving and just so powerful just to hear, you know, her story, her journey, um, how she, you know, was born, you know, a Jewish woman, but coming back into her Jewish roots and just hearing from her standpoint of like, how did that happen? You know, what made her get to that point? How was the Jewish, you know, um, as far as her her Jewish ancestry, how was it kind of lost within her family? So just hearing all of that and her going back to it was so beautiful and inspiring, especially for us to hear. So since it was so impactful, that's why we wanted to share some of our thoughts and um, some of our takeaways from you know her interview, specifically with Inspiration for the Nation. Um, and uh, you just share our heart about it uh, because it, a lot of things did stand out to us. Yeah. So one of the things that was really beautiful was, you know, Jakob Langer was asking basically, you know, how did you get started on this journey? And it was really beautiful to hear her say that she couldn't really explain it that much. It was just something that she knew deep within she wanted to be Hasidic, you know, and she wanted to live that type of life. And it's something that she connected to. And she talked about how she she learned from her mother these beautiful words of just making sure that you, you, you're you authentic and that you stay true to yourself. And that was really inspiring for us to hear uh, because we're we're on a journey right now. We're We're literally on a journey. So to be able to hear words like just be yourself. Um, be authentic, uh, you know, stay true to yourself. That I think those words go a long way for people who are on this journey to conversion, you know. Mm -hmm. And especially to hear, you know, like she wasn't really raised observant. Yeah. Um, so to hear, you know, what he just mentioned of like she just really wanted to go back to it. There was like this desire and yearning. And we mentioned that because a lot of people ask, you know, for converts, like what, what was it about Judaism that, that drew you so close in? And some of the things that she explains, like, it's like, you can't really explain it. You don't know. It's just like, you're drawn to it once you start learning and you understand more about it. I mean, yeah. she was actually born Jewish, but you know, she had this desire to know more about her history uh, you know, know more about the Jewish people. And that's the same thing for Ladero and I, like on this journey, we just, we want to know more yeah. about Judaism and we're so drawn to it. And we can't explain it either, really. No, you can't. That I mean, that's probably the question that we get asked the most is how'd you get started on this journey? <laughs> and sometimes it is challenging to be able to find the words. Yes, we can explain it, but we will never be able to express what's really on the inside of how we feel and why we really, really started and what attracted us and really what's going on in our souls. And like, like th those are things that we can't really express, you know, so we try to try our best to kind of come up with, uh, with something to explain. But uh, that is something that uh, was really impactful because we, we know what it's like. We don't know how to explain it either. You know, it's just, it's something that we know that we're supposed to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I think, you know, let's let's go to the point of let's talk about, you know, she mentions, obviously, I am a Jew of color. Mm -hmm. Right. She talks about being a Jew of color. And, you know, I think, you know, one thing that she did mention, she she talked about, especially when she moved from Holland to New York 
And she always had like this desire to go to New York and New York is where, you know, she really discovered a lot of stuff uh, within Judaism, but she talked about, you know, the being looked at basically, you know, when she was in the Jewish communities and what I think is so beautiful and very mature, you know, of words that she shared is that I know the Jewish people weren't looking at me because I'm a black woman. They're just looking at me because it's not common. It wasn't common. It wasn't something that you see all the time. So it was just basically them not really knowing, you know, who I am. This is why she had so many questions. She mentions in her interview, she goes, you know, people will ask me, okay, where'd you come from? Okay. Who's your mother? What line? All this. And she said, I can't blame them. Right. I can't blame them because they want to know it. Am I really you know, am I really this? And, and I get it, you know, it it could be a tough situation, especially when you're this person, you're like, I'm born Jewish. I am Jewish. But then, you know, to other Jews, you don't, you know, to them, it's like, that's not a common thing. But I like, again, I think it was so beautiful because she mentioned that I know they're not, it wasn't a thing of racism, right? It was a thing of just not being really familiar with black Jews, born black Jews, not converts, um, but a born black Jewish woman. And we were talking about it after we watched it. And when it when she was sharing how she would go to different places and some of the kids will will ask will, will ask her questions like, uh, like, well, are you Jewish? And I love her strength around that because she would just flip it back. She's like, well, are you Jewish? <laughs> yeah. You know, and the kids are like, yeah, of course I, I got, I have fails. I have, I, have, I keep on, you know? And so I, I, I think that's a very, very, mature stance to take on it and i also believe that that's not it's not easy to 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 get to that place as well to have that that level of strength it's not it's not easy um because in your mind you're like listen i'm just as jewish as you are we just have different color skin yeah you know and and i know that sometimes that can be challenging for a lot of jews of color to be questioned all the time about their their Jewishness, you know, it, it it's a big thing right now. It's yeah. a big thing, and but I I love her maturity around it. I love her maturity and that type of attitude. But one thing I I, I do want to say is, I think maybe at the beginning of the video she said, "Well, well, Yaakov, as you can see, I am a Jew of color," and I love <laughs> what Yaakov said. Thank you, bro, for saying that. He he was <laughs> like he was like, "Well, to be honest with you, I don't see color." I, I love that. It was a simple statement, but I I just I I appreciate you for saying that because I really think and believe that that is the place that we need to get to, mm-hmm. to where we don't see any color. Mm-hmm. Like what what is what is color? It's like so what? Like so what? Yeah, because we're just one people, and you know she mentions that as well too, and you know she even you know talks about her journey of, you know, going more Hasidish, right? And how she got to that point. And, you know, one thing that really stood out to me that she mentioned though, she goes, she doesn't just fit into one type. She didn't kind of, she said, I'm not labeled into this box. And I I think that's beautiful because sometimes we can kind of be placed in, you know, certain boxes or certain sex, that's what she says. Mm -hmm. And she didn't want to be, labeled as that and i think that's that's beautiful because i believe that's what's going to bring all of the jewish people closer together when we're not so segregated so separated and again you know being more educated i guess on the different types and different colors and backgrounds of the jewish you know people yeah because they come in all different colors (laughs) they do absolutely you know color was never a thing to determine a person's Jewishness back Absolutely. in the day, yeah, right. Back 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 in the Bible time, that it was never a thing. It was like, okay, if you're a certain color, like this makes you this type of Jew, or or you're not a Jew if you're this color. That was never a thing, mm-hmm. right? What we're dealing with now with all this color stuff, right? That that is a a uh, you know that that that's a a recent development. You know, you can even tell because in the interview when Yaakov asked, you know, what was your great great grandmother? Was she, you know, a woman of color or was she like, was she a black uh, Jewish woman? Was she, was she more of the Caucasian? And she goes, well, in Holland, we don't mention, you're just Jewish. Yeah. She goes, you're not a color. You're just a Jewish woman. And I love that because in Judaism, there is no color. They, it comes, 
in all different forms of colors. Yeah. And we're just one nation. And I believe slowly but surely we're getting back to that place. Absolutely. Um, 100 percent yeah so with that said guys again what a beautiful interview and what a beautiful nishama that she has we're so grateful that she's you know choosing to open up and share her story so i mean because so she could thankful. have kept all of this in and we heard obviously she has a book which we're excited about you know being yeah. able to purchase that and to support that but um again we're, we just wanted to share our heart after seeing that i'm like i have so much that's in me that yeah. you know hearing from her that I, I i'm like let's do a video and just sharing our, our heart about it yeah that that was a great idea great idea uh because i think her her story needs to be heard needs to continue to be told and i'm, and I'm sure now since her video and story has kind of gone viral i'm sure she's uh, the, her her email <laughs> inbox is probably going crazy right now. So, uh, but I'm very very excited about it. Suri, if you're if you're if you ever hear this video, not sure if you ever will. Thank you so much for your strength. Thank you for your example. We will be continuing to pray for you and your family and your boys. May they grow up with so much Yiddish kite, and may your boys continue to fall in love with the Torah. I know you said your oldest one is getting ready for a bar mitzvah. Oh, and uh, and we, we pray that that's beautiful and that it goes good and that that Torah stays with him for the rest of his life as well as uh, your boys as well. And uh, just many blessings to uh, to you and your family. Yes. And so, guys, if you have seen the interviews, we would love just to hear your thoughts in our comments, you know, yes, share some of yes. your thoughts, you know, what stood out about her interview and and um, we love to just hear that and to be able to share uh, some of those things. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching this different type of video for us. And yeah. may, maybe, I don't know, and let us know too in the comments. Let, let us know if you if you think it'd be cool for us to do more of videos like this, just kind of sharing our thoughts or maybe reaction videos of, of different things that are out there or something like that. And, um, you know, if you guys enjoy it, maybe we'll do more. Yeah. And also make sure guys that you like and subscribe to our videos. And we have other videos on our channel as well too that is talking about our journey to Judaism. Awesome, so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll be sure to see you guys on the next video.